Hey guys, welcome back to another video today, and today I want to go over the Fiesta Maze event in Pet Simulator X, or also called the Jelly Update in Pet Simulator, and I also want to go over all the scavenger event locations. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So the first part about this is that the giant pinata, you know, this event that happens every four hours, it got a buff. You can now get 50 times chance instead of 25 times, so it's pretty good. Anyway, majority of the update is going to take place here on this in this cannon, so just, just go into this cannon, and then it will teleport you to the Fiesta the maze however the e-circle is not showing for some reason i think people are just trying to go there so yeah let me just uh try to get there i mean the, the, it's supposed to show up but yeah it takes one at a time everyone's going there hey can you guys like you know give me a little bit uh let me let me get in here come on come on okay we got we gotta be first all right there you go we got in all right we, we, we're able to shoot in anyway majority update takes place here and uh the thing is that the, these mazes right here it's like pretty easy to do if you have like pretty good pets you can just breeze by this with ease and yeah everyone has already taken everything apparently yeah everything is already taken but you do get a lot of gems if you if you break them so it is it is pretty good like two i think two million gems if you break them and you can already see it's already broken so it's like super easy to do and yeah you can see yeah everyone has already broken it and this server is like really really new so yeah if you just have like pretty good pets you can you can break through it and yeah it's not it's not too bad anyway here is the location for all the new eggs there's two like one new egg but i guess there's another one this also counts as a golden egg and yeah um before the prices were a little bit cheaper but now they have decreased i mean increased the price so it, it's a little bit more expensive now but before it was actually pretty good i think this one cost like 7k or 8k and this one cost you know like 75k or something but yeah they've increased the price unfortunately and I also believe they have like nerfed it, so you can't get that many mythicals before. But you can see, I did get quite a lot of mythicals here. And yeah, it's the most powerful pet now, this one over here, the, the corgi right here. And I did get a shiny, you can see a shiny, and the shiny has seven quadrillion damage. So I make this like dark matter, it's gonna be really, really powerful. So I'm pretty happy about that. And yeah, that's right here. And yeah, you can also get the huge chihuahua that was a highly requested pet and you can get it here at these two eggs. So the thing is like, you can literally just break the maze right here and you could probably get enough gems to grind here for a little bit because you get like 2 million per break. So and there's like a ton of these. So it's pretty good. I, I like this, uh, I like this event right here. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this side of things. Anyway, the next part of this update is that there is the exclusive shot and there's a new one. It's exclusive jelly egg. And you can see there's the jelly cor corgi, I mean corgi, and then uh, jelly panda and then pig, huge jelly and then huge jelly pig. And then we got the titanic jelly. Now the things about this that is different is that there is, um, there's like variants. So you can see over here, there there's a lot going on. So jelly comes with a coin inside. So basically when, if you hatch one of these, you will get a variant and the variant could include something inside the jelly. So for example, like a coin inside, comes with diamonds, or comes with a chest, or comes with something like that. And there's also 1% chance it comes with pretzen inside the jelly. And you, you probably wanna get that if you are gonna open any of these eggs. So that's probably gonna be the best part of it. And it is a uh, yeah, 1% chance. So it's a really, really low percent chance of getting that. Anyway, so that's about it for the exclusive shop. And yeah, the maze, I mean, I don't think the maze is too difficult. I'm just getting out here, right here. So the maze sometimes will just lead you to a direct path to the the other end. And sometimes it is a little bit more challenging, but I like how you can just kind of take a, a, a look right here. Look at that, you can kind of just take a peek. So you can, you can do that as well. And yeah, that's it for the exclusive shop. However, I don't think you have a big chance of getting it. I mean, the chances of getting the, the Titanic is like 0.05% chance. So it's a very, very low. And also the huges are also pretty low as well. But if you do manage to get it, you will get a chance of getting a variant. And you, if you want to get a variant, you want to get the least rarest, I mean, the most rarest one, which is the jelly with pretzel inside. Or over here, this is like with the mascot inside. There's a mascot pet. So you want to try to get that. Anyway, that's pretty much it for that. And now let's go ahead and go over the scavenger egg hunt. Yes, because there is another scavenger egg hunt and let me go show you all the locations for everything. So the first location is at the Doodle World and it is at the Fairyland. So let me go ahead and show you that. So go over here to the Fairyland and I believe the egg is somewhere right here. Yeah, it's at the Fairyland area though. The next area is at the Cat World and at the Cat Kingdom. I'm gonna head over to the Cat Kingdom. I do remember the location here though. It's right here behind this quest sign. There was an egg. And yeah, if you're not seeing it, I mean, it's not right here because uh, 
Uh, it doesn't show right here because I already got it. But yeah, it's at this location right here. And lastly, the last location is at the Pixel World. I believe the Pixel Alps. Yeah, right here. I remember the location though. This one I remember. It's right here. You can see someone's Ori there. This is the location right there. I believe that that was here like maybe like a week ago or the week before. So it seems like the developers don't really change a lot. Maybe they change a little bit, but then they might just keep one of the locations, which is like right there. And yeah, I believe that's pretty much it for this update. This update is pretty good. I was expecting the maze to be quite challenging and probably time consuming, but it was actually really, really easy. And uh, yeah, I think this is a pretty good update. I'm pretty happy with the amount of mythicals I got. They did, um, I, I was able to get a bunch of mythicals, but I believe they have nerfed it now. So it's a bit harder to get all these mythicals and stuff. It, it, it was actually pretty easy to get them, but I think they kind of like nerfed it a little bit. So that's, that's a thing. Anyway, um, thank you guys for watching today's video. I do live stream every week at 8 a.m. for the Pet Summoners update, so you can stay tuned for that. If you guys are not, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll catch you guys all in my next video or live stream. So I'll see you guys next time. And yeah, see you guys later. Bye!